Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm 36 weeks pregnant. Actually, I was 36 weeks about, what is today? Today is Sunday, so yesterday. Um, and, um, I'm dilated two to three centimeters and he's close to eight pounds now. Um, I'm 70% thinned, and he's now dropped and all the way head down. So it, it's just a waiting game at this point of trying to um, figure out when he's going to come. Uh, since my blood pressure is really high, they're thinking that they might induce me at 37 weeks which is next week, which is crazy. Um, but mostly this week, I've just been feeling kind of nauseous, actually. Um, I have really bad acid reflux. Um, I've had, like, the worst nausea ever in this trimester. And um, I haven't been sleeping. I mean, I know I say that all the time, like, I haven't been sleeping well, but this time, like, I'm really have not been sleeping like <laughs> I contract all night long and I mean in the past like two days I'd only gotten like four hours of sleep and so I went to my doctor and she prescribed me something to help me sleep because it's just so god awful I can't I can't do anything I'm in pain and it's like when I get comfortable He's uncomfortable, so he kicks me, and then whenever he's actually comfortable and not kicking, I'm uncomfortable. So it's try it's trying to find like a middle ground between the two of us. Um, that's really been the most difficult part. Uh, finally, last night I took the pill that she prescribed me, and. Um, it took a while for it to kick in, actually. I wasn't anticipating for it to take so long. But then when it did, I was out cold. And, um, actually, I got up this morning. And after, about an hour after my husband left, he leaves early in the morning. He's a housekeeper. Um, and I went in the living room to lay down just to rest after I woke up. And ended up falling asleep and not waking up till like 1 o'clock p.m. So, <laughs> I don't know if maybe I just took the pill too late or what. But, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was nice to be able to get some sleep for once. Um, and then, we had my baby shower. Like... A couple of weeks ago and uh, that was fun we had like ballpark food and um, Cracker Jacks and it was baseball themed so um, it was really fun uh, and I had a lot of family come I had a few friends but I'm mostly family um, and since then we've just been washing everything and getting ready for him to get here um, I know that I had said that money was like really tight and we were trying really hard to get things ready and luckily I had an old friend of mine, um, who offered to buy our crib and I don't know, I just, I really, I'm super blessed. That came in the mail the other day. He's got a crib now, and I'm really excited. Um, and then we've got, we've got a crib, we've got a swing, we've got um, two pack and plays, and then my husband's aunt is sending um, a used stroller, which I don't care that it's used. Um, it doesn't bother me. Um, and, uh, we got a couple of gift cards for his shower gifts, so we've been spending those on just stuff that he has left that he needs really bad. Um, 
And then, like I said, like I had told y'all before, we had tried to find an apartment that would accept us and take us in. And because my husband's credit is bad, that's been really difficult. And we hadn't found one except for the other day. Okay, let me backpedal. At the beginning of my pregnancy, we had applied. We had gotten so desperate that we applied for income-based housing, which I don't know if any of y'all know what that is. That's kind of like government housing. Um, it's basically where they take what you make and take a small percentage of it in a consideration for rent. And um, then they sent us a thing saying that we got denied because of my husband's credit, which I didn't realize you could get denied by the government for your credit for government assisted housing, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, but <laughs> sorry, that's my husband. Go away. <laughs> no, go. No, stop. Anyways, but go away. <laughs> but um, we got denied for um, the government housing, and, um, it was because of his credit was the reason that they gave us, and turns out the reason why we're getting denied because of his credit is because he has a child from a previous relationship, um, that he's still paying child support for, and so they're going to forever hold that over his head until it gets completely paid off, um, and that's what we were told, which kind of stinks because it's like, how can he take care of the child he has right now, it, even though that child is no longer legally tied to him anymore? And I know that sounds bad, and that's a completely different story that's so twisted and just messed up, and it's not necessarily his fault. Um, things happen, and people make bad decisions, and that was one of them. Um, but I'm not saying the child is a bad decision. I'm saying the way that everything was gone about after she got here was a bad decision. Um, so anyways, we were denied the apartments for government housing because of that. And then I guess they just got desperate because about a week ago, we got a call saying that the person in front of us that was on the list didn't want the apartment and then the person behind us didn't want the apartment and they were just calling all these people and they didn't want apartments. So um, they had a vacancy. So we of course are like jumping on that because that's awesome because my mom's trying to sell the house. And then... Um, I, I just thought, oh gosh, yes, things are starting to like kind of go right. And then um, a couple of days later, David got a good job offer, like a better one than he had right now. Uh, and even though it was like making less money, it was more hours. So it, it comes out to be better. Um, and they're better hours too. So um I thought to myself, I was like, geez, Louise, like, I have a crib now. I have um, an apartment. He has a better job. Like, something is about to happen. Like, I'm waiting for the shoe to come off the other foot or something. Because, like, so too many good things are happening right now. So, I'm stressing out about that because I'm, I'm, wait, I'm waiting for it to hit the fan. Um... And at first, it was kind of bad because we were like, we couldn't afford the deposit and the rent, first month's rent, at the same time. Because who has like 500 something dollars just laying around? Um, but we had close friends of ours that have offered very graciously to help pay for our first month's rent and our deposit. And I that blew my mind. Like, people have been so kind and... I just know I will never take that for granted, and I'll never take it for granted considering they're helping me provide for my child. Um, it's a blessing. It really is. And then I might have a job before I, like, once I have my son um, working at a daycare, which would be awesome because then I could take him with me. Um, 
but I don't know. Everything seems to be turning around for the best. Um, I'm trying really hard to keep him in until 37 weeks, but at the same time, I'm so miserable. I'm ready to be done. Um, I just want to see him at this point, and that's the only thing I really care about is seeing him. But um, I appreciate y'all listening to me rant once again about my very boring life. Because being pregnant and on bed rest is pretty boring. And I could think the only thing more boring would be listening to somebody rant about being pregnant and on bed rest. So, sorry. I hope you guys have a great week. And I'll see you next time. Bye.